with public lockdown in place as everyone listens to the government's advice to stay at home and prevent the spread of coronavirus, life has changed dramatically. Families had been looking forward to the Easter break, usually a four-day weekend extended by bank holidays either side, and the students were expecting a two-week shutdown encompassing Easter. But as the coronavirus spread, the British government took the decision to close schools and colleges. So how have kids in the North East coped with the shutdown? Hello, my name's Ollie and I've been doing the homeschooling for two weeks. I've been doing English, I've been doing maths, I've been doing PE. Yeah, so I made this rainbow for the nurses and I went outside and I took a picture of me uh, having a rainbow in the window and I done, I done this lighthouse the animation called the lighthouse and i've done this news report about uh, the lighthouse i think the medical reason for that undoubtedly is the fact that uh, young uh, children particularly in primary schools obviously and even in secondary schools they can get the coronavirus and pass it uh, between themselves now thankfully uh, young people if they get the coronavirus that is not going to be a huge medical issue. What the government will be thinking about is the fact that then the children come home and they might very well go and see their gran and their granddad and their gran and their granddad might very well be over 70, have the likes of uh, heart disease or chronic bronchitis, emphysema and of course if the gran and granddad got the virus, for them that actually uh, could be uh, rather significant.